Hi there. So today's video is going to be about great communication, great sex. That's the title. We need great communication to have great sex. As we all know and we've heard, women oftentimes will say that without great communication, they just don't feel sexual. They're motivated through their feelings and their emotions. But it's really true for men too. We need communication. We need to be able to express who we are. It's the biggest aphrodisiac, as I've said many times, and it's true for men and women, to be able to express who we are and to get to know our partner. So even though men may not know it, communication and sex are linked for everybody. So what I find with couples is that their, their communication is oftentimes more defensive and reactive because, you know, we're always trying to protect ourselves. We want to be right, and it's more important to be right than be connected. So I want you to change that. It's more important to be connected than be right. There is no one reality. One of the worst things that we could do in communication is to go after the truth. It is a waste of time and it really doesn't matter because your partner is going to see things and feel things differently. So your partner's truth is going to be different than yours. So one of the most important and first things about communicating pain, because we're gonna talk about communicating pleasant feelings in a minute, but communicating pain is that we need to actually breathe and soften and practice being receptive and being open when our reflex, our knee-jerk reaction is going to oftentimes to be defensive or to debate. So if you wanna have great sex, you gotta drop the debate, you gotta drop trying to prove you're right, and instead you want your partner to feel heard. So that's very important. Now, another aspect of communication is communicating pleasant feelings powerful feelings, loving feelings. Communicating to create intensity is what I like to say. We need to create intensity in our relationship. And it oftentimes needs words, which is verbal communication, and it also can need nonverbal communication. Research has showed that, I think they say 93% of communication is nonverbal. So we need to really pay attention to our nonverbals when we communicate. So for example, if my wife and I are going out for an evening and she's dressed up and she looks good, I could say, you look nice. Or I could say, you look nice. Same words, total different feeling. It's creating an intensity. That, even the way I said it, creates a certain intensity. So looking at each other's eyes, gazing at each other. I knew one couple, who, not clients of mine, who said that they spent five minutes every night just gazing at each other's eyes. That's intense. And most people, it's like they'll blow a fuse if they do that. But I'll tell you what, they had a heck of a good sex life. They just communicated through just being with each other through their eyes, very important. So our tone, our eyes, our smiles, our flirting. Flirting is very important. It's more important to flirt with your partner of 20 years than it is when you in the first date. So the first date, you know, it's, it's all new and exciting. You need to consciously flirt with your partner. It's very important. And of course, verbally too, you know, thinking of what words, how can I express my appreciation to my partner? What are some things I could say that would uplift her? How can I, or him, how can I compliment my partner, uh, whether it's about looks or about parenting? I sometimes will go around thinking about what can I do to compliment my wife. I mean, all I gotta do is think about it, I can come up with a number of things. But if I don't think about it, I won't come up with it. And then once I come up with it, I need to say it. So if I say to her, you know, I gotta tell you, you know, our kids who are currently out of the country, the way you've been there for them has been amazing, okay? That creates intensity. It, it does with words. So whether it's nonverbal or verbal, you want to create that intensity. You want to have that closeness. You, of course, can also communicate through touch. That's a form of communication, too. You want to communicate love. You want to communicate, I cherish you. You want to communicate, I'm important to you. You can do that through touch, which I say, would say is a subsection of nonverbal. But you just want to use your hands, use your eyes, use your tone, and, of course, use your words to create that intensity. So whether you're using communication to learn how to be mature and deal with pain, 
or you use your communication, nonverbal and verbal, to be creative, to create intensity, those both will allow you to have a sex life that is absolutely, I'll put it this way, that at least you'll reach your sexual potential. As your communication opens, so does the different parts of your body that are required to enjoy good sex. So listen to this video, follow his advice, and you'll be glad you did. This is Todd Krieger, making the world safe for love.